together. And of course, that which you end up throwing away the instructions. Let's do 20 inches between centers, 22 inches on bolts. Five, three inch, and three inch. Light. That is so much fun. Grab, there you go. Step lower.
No glue necessary. Watch the spinny spin things go spinny spin. down on. Ah, not stay put. Gonna have to wedge him. Just like that.
that much. So there you have it. Uh, this is a fun moxing kit. Uh, this is actually one from Tay Tools and um, it's probably one of the most cost effective ones on the market I've come across. Really, really good price. Comes with the leather, all the hardware. Uh, now in the past I made this one with wooden screws, which seems like it'd be a little cheaper, but the, the tap and die set for one of these actually costs more than the hardware set. So yes, I, I like this one in that it doesn't have the screws sticking out past the front, uh, but this one is a little more cost effective, and especially with the, the lumber I used, this was just the, the stock stuff I got from the big box store. Uh, this one was laminated. I'll leave a link to this one if you'd like to see that in the video as well. Um, also on this one, I decided to put these outriggers in the back. Um, I know a lot of people like to put a bench top off the back. I've never found that to be very useful for the way I work. Uh, but if you're in a small uh, shop and you don't have space for the whole bench or you're working in your own kitchen or something of that nature, sometimes it's nice to have a small bench like that that you can then put on top of a surface, clamp it down, and you've got a full working vise. So that might be an option if you're in a tight space. So I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do have any questions, ideas, let me know those down below. Also, if you want to go over to the second channel, Wood by Write How To, uh, I actually have a whole talk through where I answer a lot of the questions and work through the whole project. I explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and all of the things along with that. So if you want to see that, I'll leave a link to that video down below, as well as the old video from this Mox and Vice. I'll leave a link to that one down. So I do want to say thank you to everyone who's watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know those. I read through all of them. And if you are a patron on Patreon and scrolling over here on the side, I want to say a huge thank you. Plus anyone who's become a member and clicked the join button, without you guys, this channel would not exist. I know I say that every week, but it is the honest truth. I am very heavily supported by members and patrons, so thank you for that. Uh, if you also like to help out the channel other ways, hitting like, comment, subscribing, all of those things do help out as well. So I think I'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. And if you ask my wife, she'll tell you, I have a lot of vices, and now I have one more.